All right, welcome back to Ranch Life and welcome to the little bastard. Now, one of the questions I get uh, with this uh, car shows, forums, again on the YouTube, is uh, about the launches, how you get it to go off the line so quick. What's the kind of secret behind that? And I mean, there is no secret. It has got a, a kind of little launch control system in it. Um, so kind of what I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to give you a run through of what that entails and how we achieve that. All right, so the concept behind launch control and anything is consistency. So, um, you know, to get a good launch, in theory, what you need to have is your engine revs just set right and get your clutch uh, to bite at those engine revs. And then as you're bringing the clutch out and the clutch bites at the moment, when the clutch bites, then you need to let the thing rev the whole way to the moon. And that way, you know, you'll take off quickly. In practice, that's actually, that's kind of a, a, an, an act of coordination for the driver standardly like um you know, kind of you have to balance all them things up and get it perfect every time but by doing it with the launch control and doing it with the linkage you can uh, remove that completely so the way the the launch control for the little bastard works is you have a mechan mechanical linkage on the clutch and you also have a, an electronic circuit for the rev limiter and that kind of takes a lot of the guesswork out of it and all so with the launch control engaged all you need to do as a driver is hold the throttle in and uh, kind of release the clutch at the right rate, just right. So really all you're controlling is the one thing, is the clutch. Uh, and that takes a lot of the guesswork out of it, but it also means that, as I say, consistency. Once you get the launch kind of sequence right and once you get the kind of the balance of things right, it'll just keep taking off perfect every time. So uh, what we're going to do here is have we look inside and give you an idea of how it is I achieve that. All right, so we've got the side panel off. We're looking through in here to the CDI. So that's the ca capacitor discharge ignition. Um, so the ignition box for the tractor. This one here is a bit special. It has two uh, rev limits. So it has a kind of the top end, but the engine will rev to 13,000 RPM when it's at its top limit. And then you have a switchable lower limit, uh, which can be adjusted by a little screw on the box. Now to, to switch between the high limit and the low limit, you've got these two little white wires. And if you connect those two white wires together, it activates the lower limit. limit. The way it controls the lower limit is it intermittently cuts the spark. So uh, when the engine tries to rev beyond a certain point, it'll just cut the spark. It's a controlled misfire, and that actually stops the engine accelerating any further. So that's why you get that distinctive sound when it's sitting uh, kind of ready for the launch. When you're wanting to use the launch control, you have to press this button in here. So that button is kind of the on-off button for the launch control, but it works kind of in series with another switch, which is connected here onto the pedal. Now the switch is in this little uh, kind of enclosure, which pivots like that there. You can see here, as I move the clutch, the little structure moves. When the clutch is all the way down, that little structure is pressed hard against the clutch lever, which in turn presses that switch hard against cl uh, the clutch lever, uh, and that makes the circuit, which in turn kind of activates the low end rev limiter. But when this clutch comes back, and about here is where the bite point is, you'll see that little structure lift away from the clutch. Uh, which breaks the circuit even though this other button on the steering wheel is connected it breaks the circuit and allows the engine then to rev freely and you can adjust it here there's a little bar it's actually made out of a bicycle spoke and if you look at this little this little nub on the end here when you get to the bite point that hits hard against the frame of the tractor and actually just pushes this away. So that's your mechanical element. So, so when you're setting the two-step up, the first thing you do is you find the bite point of the clutch and you adjust this so that it pushes that away when you reach the bite point. Then after that you kind of do a load of uh, launches adjusting the low end rev limit uh, until you get the sweet spot. And as a feedback uh, instrument we use this uh, tachometer here and that kind of lets us know what the engine speeds are 
uh, and that way we get a better idea of what it is we're setting it up to do. All right, so there you have it, little bastard launch control. It's quite simple in theory, a little bit fiddly to execute, but uh, once you know how, easy enough. And uh, once you get it right, you can just do this time and time again. I think I got it on the two step then, I think it just went.